here's the Stevens campus in Hoboken, across the river from New York City. This was the beginning of the most spectacular alumni reunion in the history of Stevens, and it cost $100,000. This is the first day reception at the palace, and Leon greeted all of us, and he knew everybody, all the men's first name, because he played soccer with us, or lived in the dormitories with us. And remember, we only had 190 in the whole class. Anita Lang. Uh, this is a toast from the class's That's classmates. I have nothing in my hand. Oh, wow, oh, wait. <laughs> I had the whole speech prepared. I don't know. I did the toast of our, the classmates came up to see Leon, and not only because he's president, because four years from now, when your office is over, we're coming back to your home in Guadalquil. Tell your wife we're coming back. And lots of luck. We're very proud of you, Leon. Very proud. Here, 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 here. I'd like to toast. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I'd like to thank you for bringing all of our class to wine. This is where I finished. But he's been quite alive. If you get any more bills, stamp it, pay. He's in the back. This is a, a dance put on that was hired just for us, and they taught us some of the native dances. Dick, did you meet, did you meet uh, Representative? This is the next night at the ambassador's house that was uh, about three acres outside of Quito. Tell me all about it. Well, that, that you know of the president. Two weeks later, he was fired by Leon. Him, and it's nice you to have us over here for the. Uh, My pleasure. But how long have you been the ambassador in Ecuador? A little over two years. Do, uh, does, do you see Leon often? I mean, is it something, uh, or that's not part of uh, an important part of your function? Uh, oh yeah, well, the, yeah. Technically, of course, uh, ambassadors are accredited from one president to another. In the real world, that's not exactly the way it works. But I do see the president frequently. He's very generous in seeing me when I have some particular business he, that I need to take up with him. And of course, when he wants to see me. I'm at his, at his back call. Uh, you know, we, we want to know where this is the ambassador's wife. And if you can hear me, I was asking her where the local barns were, where some of our bachelor members on the trip could pick up some broads. And she named five bars. Thank you for talking to us. It's very nice. Do you like living in Ecuador? Are you, um, how long are you? Uh, we're going to talk to the family of the ambassador. Are, are you here a long time? What is your name? I'm, I'm just an innocent observer. I, an innocent observer. I, I thought you were a native. You look Spanish. That's why. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, 
Can you get this young lady? Are you are you with the ambassador? I, I'm the upstairs maid. Are you really? Yes. Do I you? Come to, I come to all cocktails. Tell the truth. Does the ambassador fool around at all? Oh, I'm sworn to secrecy. Uh, he's from uh, Basca. Where you from, uh, Senorita? Obusco. Are you are you a native of the country? This is a part of the household. Staff. Staff. Oh, you speak English. You speak English. Your staff. Notice she has the waiters out there. Right. Excuse me, uh, did you meet the uh, ambassador's is, daughter? This is women's live in... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now that you're a married woman, do you fool around? <laughs> yes, all the time. Well, she may, but not with me she doesn't. Guess who that is? It's one of the natives. Keep things inside, no one would notice. And when we go into lunch now, we can also walk in and we don't need any napkins. Oh, I want to introduce you to some of the other natives of the town. Uh, senor, senoritas, senoritas. Comprende uh, Espanol? Oh, no, speak English. This is Costco, right outside of Quito. And Leon Codero owns this uh, box store. That's not worth fire. Look at the label. The label here. The label. What is this label? That's look what it says here. Woolworths. I'm not going to buy a Woolworths. Can I get my money back if I, if I don't like it? If I don't... How much? Oh, I came down from 500 to 400. I didn't even do it. Let me, let me give you the <laughs> Tell you what, I'll make a trade. You give me this, I give you my hat. <laughs> no? <laughs> what the hell is this? Hey, Charlie, uh, I bought you, I bought you, hat, I bought you hat to come home from the Amazon in. <laughs> I want to make a deal for everybody. We want to miss Senorita. We'll buy everything. <laughs> How much? <laughs> five million trippers. What do they call this stuff they have? Sucres. Five million trippers. <laughs> and we'll sell you the bus. The bus goes with it. <laughs> we want the whole thing. We don't want to shop. We're in a hurry. We want the whole thing. <laughs> and that building. That building yours? We want that thrown in here. This is on the equator. It's not, yeah, I, would you mind getting? Would you mind? We don't. I don't want to be the same hemisphere as you. Yeah, stay. Stay in your own hemisphere. You keep in your hemisphere. I'll keep That's in my it. hemisphere. Can't share it. This was a cruise of the lifetime on the uh, Amazon River, using a boat and then canoes to get us into a remote area where they had a uh, no outhouse. They had outhouses. And we all slept in one big dormitory room. This is the tourist one where the people are in. And they're lining up to go down into the boat to get to the flotel. There's Ernie Hempel getting in. And Dave Graham. There he is. Uh, The boat was uh, operated by the Carnival Cruise Line. We have, to, we, have to, we have to give credit, Charlie, to these our navigators. They we have seen longs and sandbars, and they are really maneuvering. Another tour uh, was uh, uh, to the missionaries, uh, an Indian village, and Jungle Walk. We also had an early morning group. The last of the trips. We brought you along. We never thought that they would come back. We thought that they would have to stay there and for at least another week or two till the boat returned. But they seem old. And he was eaten by the piranhas. That's why the water is all red. Some of them look like they're a little bit thinner, maybe a little worse for wear, but they're okay. Oh, that's wonderful. This was Ecuadorian's Club Med. Okay, we're gonna let the bus go by itself now. And uh, bridge, and there's the people down there making our lunch. Now we're having lunch, there's our lunch now. There they, oh, I think we're having pork chops. What do you think that is? This is their 24 hour hotel laundry. Oh, this is the laundry room, I see. Oh, this is first class, first class. All right, Dave, let me see you get across that bridge. 
Now let's see you get over there. All right, Dave, you look nervous. Oh, these are great scenes, aren't they? This is fantastic. <laughs> Sure, this is the main, the main room that we're going to eat in. This place used to be run down, but they fixed it up for us. And you notice that there's the lake we're going to go swimming in. Now, everybody, the only trick is, everybody has to make their own bed. So you got to grab a board and a hammer and saw. we got to make our own bed. It's the only drawback. I, uh, I think we're going to stop it now because we're going to go and eat. Push the button. Push the button? No, you just keep talking. All right. Go in. We'll in. Stop we'll at the two. door. Will I handle the light level? No, you gotta stop it now. Okay. Bye, Charlie. Bye. Bye, Charlie. Hi, I'm Kathy Kirshner, and this is Ted Kirshner. We're from Boston. <laughs> This is our second reunion at the palace, uh, about the seventh day of the trip. Thank you very much. Have a nice trip back home and God bless you all. God bless you. This is a training base for Matadors, and it's owned by Leon. And we spent uh, a whole day there learning how to, every one of us got a certificate to be a real professional Matador if we wanted to. And one of our members, John Pfeiffer, stayed a month later, stayed a whole month, then returned and became a actual Matador and, and performed in arenas all over the country.
The fights went on for about five hours. Some people went two or three times before they got so beat up they, they had to stop. Notice she has high heels. Fighters, and she feels very comfortable with the bull. She has a. Well, she's married to a bullshitter. She, she's married to a very fine bullshitter. Uh, the bull uh, is. Watch him! Watch him! The bull is getting ready for the charge. This is the uh, the last scenes of the uh, Quito trip in 1988. The bull, Get out there! The bull attacked Madeline. And uh, I attack her once more. I'm too. And, come on. and Charlie attacks her. And goes hop. Uh, 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 talk. talk. All of this bull talk. fighter is talk. Oh, yeah. Oh. Come on, talk, uh, talk, talk. It yeah. up. Richard Harper is now out in the field. He does have dungarees on. He has first pair. Uh, Look at him scared, Harper. Hey, Madeline, how do you like it? Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey Harper, you clots. These are uh, the, of the 45 in a trip. This is the group that survived. This is the uh, beach scene behind Leon's uh, summer house in Guadalquil. And this is a, uh, a typical meal. We ate three meals a day on his terrace. That's the island he owns where he keeps his 300-foot yacht. And behind this house, which is his maid's quarters, and his staff of 22 and three Secret Service guards, he has a house behind it with 40 bedrooms. And there he is uh, greeting us and letting us know uh, which rooms we're gonna get. He had uh, one room for each one of us. And here we are arriving at his house the first uh, morning. Remember he knew every one of us, every name. And by now he knew all the wives' names because most of them were on the trip 10 years before when he was uh, president. That's Dick Harper's daughter and my daughter. Hello, Leon. 
Thank you very much. We love it here. We decided to move down. Yeah, we decided to move down. Uh, we hope so there's some rooms available for us because yes, we're going to come down yeah. often to come and visit. <laughs> I'm so glad Leon has invited us to move in with him. It's wonderful. <laughs> and uh, just so that everybody knows who we are, Susan Harper, Richie's daughter. Andra Schneebach, Charlie's daughter. But don't tell anyone. Yeah, don't tell anyone. Don't let anybody know, especially about her daughter. Don't hold and I won before. 73 percent But I got one more year left and I'm praying. You can do it again? No, no, no. Wait a minute. You're not going to do it? The day that I finish, Wait I take a plane. I got the pilot. Full gasoline, no road, take off. I don't know, I don't give a hell. You swear you're not going to run? I swear. I want to run. I don't want to run. I want to run. You know what? I want to run. And this is a group of 45 that made the trip to uh, Guadalquivir in 1998.